What is up everyone? Thank you so much for coming back for another video. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about what you should know before you get into graphic design and what you should know before getting into calligraphy from my point of view and about what I struggled with. I didn't write anything down and I like to keep it natural and really just things coming to me as I'm filming this for you all and sharing from my experience. Hopefully I can get this finished before the battery dies. Okay, so the first thing I have to say to know before you get into graphic design is knowing that graphic design is not drawing pretty pictures all day long. <clears throat> and there's gonna be a lot of times of people not wanting to pay the full price. And I have to say, with that, can be very discouraging, but don't let the money aspect hold you back from getting into graphic design. And also, once you learn that it is an actual business and how to sell yourself, Learning how to sell yourself, that is one thing that they don't really teach in school, at least the school I went to, the Art Institute. Yeah, I know, I know, the Art Institute. And what else? Uh, I have to say another thing is having confidence in your work and also wanting to improve and get better and learning what you can improve on and being very honest with yourself because if you are a creative person whether you do interior design architecture illustration anything creative you know the first work you do oh for a good amount of time is going to suck just like my videos whatever if you go back before i switch from vlog and just start focusing on creative stuff well, graphic design and calligraphy to be more specific, you would notice that a lot of my videos are not edited. I mean, they are edited. How are they? A lot of my videos are not really like not a not a good amount of attention to detail in regards to the video and the and the uh, what what else like the color correction, the white balance, the very simple things. I know. What does it matter? And the thumbnails. And another example with my calligraphy work, if you go deep in my feed on Instagram, if you're not doing so yet, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I mean, it's free, you can see my work. And dealing with depression, I know I'm switching topics, feel like as if I'm all over the place. After really diving deep into graphic design, even though I've been doing it for over four years, aside from the day job. Dealing with confidence and depression. Confidence and depression is very, very, it could have like very, very drastic effects. Effects to the point where you just want to give up and not even deal with this stuff that comes along with being a creative person. And then just being the type of person to think, I am going to work here in my office and I'm going to connect with the world and it's as if you can create your own world but you won't actually be out meeting people so how benefit would how beneficial would that be once you have the actual human interaction like physical human interaction and not on a computer or I'll say behind a screen so do not be afraid to go out and meet other designers. And I have to say, whenever I meet someone that is creative, whether they do video, interior, architect, graphic design, calligraphy, even though on, so far the only calligraphers I have met, well actually I think I've met maybe two at the most in real life so far. And I'm switching now to calligraphy, starting calligraphy, I, I have to say, it is very, very difficult if you do not know which type of calligraphy you want to learn. Because people, not people, 
uh, just as general as the way how we think of calligraphy we think of it as being very fancy a bunch of flourishes and we do not learn that there's a difference in the types of calligraphy for example broad edge and pointed pen and learning what a brush pen is and learning the different hands and so that's one thing with starting to click fee, try to figure out what type you enjoy doing the most and learning which tools you enjoy the most and then second with calligraphy don't be afraid to have critiques and this could tie into graphic design as well don't be afraid to share your work because as i was saying on graphic design your work is going to suck right when you start off and it's going to suck for a while you just have to Number three, you have to study. Study, study, study. By studying, I mean you have to be on Instagram, Pinterest, watch videos, go to your library, buy books, sketch, learning what others have done and how they have done it well, and learn from them and apply those techniques to your work. Because the only way you're going to really get better but in graphic design or anything in general is if you practice and if you study. And if you're studying and practicing and learning and sharing your work, you're going to see the growth. And because this is what happened with me, and I seen the growth. Goodness, my, oh, whoops. Let me make sure the camera didn't die. Okay, we're still rolling. <laughs> and with me, what I had learned that I get. I've gotten so, so pumped once I started to see the growth in my work and started to have fun again with posting videos and stuff on Instagram. When have I stopped worrying about the likes? Because worrying about the likes, you're gonna lose, you're gonna, your vision is gonna be clouded. And I have to say that, I'm on number four or five. That will be the last thing I want to end with in this video. If you are looking for validation from likes and etc., but you're not getting them, that's okay. The, the likes do not account for how good your work is because your work could be good to one person and then to two people, it could be the worst thing they've ever seen. But the main thing is, is you have to believe in your work and you have to be confident and you have to practice and study and learn and get better. All right, I don't wanna, I don't wanna drag this video on too much. I feel as if it was maybe a little too all over the place, who knows? You let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're on YouTube, it's on a, what is it? I feel like nowadays there's so many social media websites yet. You have to remember which ones that you have not said already. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. And for those of you on Facebook, let me know as well what you think. And I'll catch you later.